Well, hello guys again. I don't see much uh, on the YouTube about these uh, Victron uh, smart battery protectors. So I thought I'm gonna throw a couple of these on, uh, on YouTube and just show you how they work. Uh, this is the little baby. This is a 65 amp, and this is a smart one. Obviously, smart means with a Bluetooth. Okay, 12, 12 slash 24 volt. Uh, 65 amps maximum coming through this is the big boy there's the 220 amps at 12 slash 24 volts and the mid-size uh, the 100 amp is actually being used on my uh, solar system so he's not present momentarily he's a little bit busy but anyway these are actually really good to protect your batteries from uh, discharging too low okay I don't know if it's only me but the BMS for life for life for four batteries uh, they are just not right okay they will disconnect the battery at 2.2 volts I mean the cell is 2.2 volts cell okay which is uh, actually for it's just actually an 8.8 .8 8 volts which is like really really low it just makes no sense and all of these BMS's are about the same they are disconnected at they disconnect at 2.1 or 2.2 .2 volts uh, slash cell and that's just crazy and you cannot change it Okay, there is no reason to, to, to drain the battery so low because you're cutting the uh, lifetime really short. So these guys are actually something very useful and uh, first I bought this one, the little baby one and then, uh, then I got uh, this big boy and then I got the mid-size but they are really really useful. Okay, you can, uh, you can go on uh, Okay, let me get on the app and uh, let's see. So right now I got this one is not connected, so it's not going to show. But let me actually. Uh, I'm sorry, this one I have to connect him too. So I'm gonna. Hopefully, it's gonna stay. Okay, so so let me re refresh. Uh, I hope you can see that. I'm gonna refresh this, and now it shows me the the battery protect and and the uh, Victron uh, charger. I, I mean uh, MPPT, uh, MPPT, whatever charger. And then here is the mid -bo mid boy, the 100 amp, which is actually in use. So, what you can do, I'm going to use this one here, and that's the first one. You get on the app. Right now, it will show you the the battery uh, voltage. Okay, this that is uh, connected to this little battery. That's the voltage here. Now you can go in the settings, and here you can go into the mode actually mode will not do that so let's go back you gotta go into user here here is all the voltages that you can set on a non-smart non version I hope you can see that yep that's it or you can do user define and you can, this is the smart version, and you can uh, set the cutoff voltage whichever you like. Okay, so let's go back here, and we have 12.54 volts here. So I'm gonna go to settings, and I am in user define, and I'm gonna set it on to 12. 
I'm gonna go until 12 uh, let's say 12 well you have to be careful first you have to set a restart if you want to go higher so let's go on to restart let's go past 1260 select OK and this one you, you're gonna go to it was about 1250 so let's go to 1244 let's go a little less this is a very little battery it's gonna go fast let's go let's go 1230 okay <coughs> right now so this is gonna shut off at 12.3 volts the one thing I don't like about this it takes 90 seconds before it shuts off and that's just a little nonsense uh, I don't know why I mean I, I, I wish it was a little a little less than that maybe uh, 30 seconds would be plenty I don't know why it's 90 but for the overload usually it takes uh, two three seconds to, to get over the overload and uh, then you're back in a, in a normal and a, but 90 seconds is just way too much so anyway but I just want to show you how it works so uh, here I got just a little light bulb low voltage light bulb that I'm going to connect it to the battery okay and it looks like right now it's off for some reason so we got it well it's connecting oh because it was okay so I actually end up changing the battery because the battery was exhausted and uh, it was not good enough for this big boy so I got a new battery and the voltage on the new battery is uh, 12.8 volts so 3.85 so I'm going to change the settings I will go into settings again and first change the restart because we have to leave that we have to, now oh, come on we have to go a little bit higher okay otherwise you cannot change the shutdown to higher voltage so we have 12.5 uh, so we going I mean 12.8 so we're gonna go to about 12 uh, let's say 12.75 okay 1276 on the shutdown and restart uh, I don't know it doesn't really matter but uh, I just want to show you how that thing work, works we got 1294 right now now let's actually let's go a little bit higher here if we got 1294 so let's go to 1285 okay 1285 and uh, here you can actually shut the load or the power coming through with the app or turn it on that's this button right here so I'm gonna turn on the load okay you can see the light it's on and the voltage is coming down and we are already past 1250 1248 so we are actually past the point now it's going to give me a warning here and at this time the uh, um, the relay will actually turn on for the arm and it's going to be on for 90 seconds until this thing will shut off then the relay will actually shut off also which I don't like I, I, I mean I don't know it could be good for some, some applications but okay so for alarm is fine but for the relay I want to keep it off if I want to attach a relay to this I want to keep the relay off until the battery is back up you know ready to go it's charged so I just don't like this option for a relay here or alarm it's just um, doesn't make much much sense but uh, you see how long it takes actually uh, from the time that uh, 
we get the we get the alarm here that it's under voltage and it takes actually 90 seconds until this will shut off and uh, it will shut off okay there you go and it will shut off the big load the 220 amps even though this is not a big load but you know this is just uh, to show you how it works so and now it's going to stay off until until uh, the battery goes back to uh, 13 volts that I have set right here <coughs> you can see that okay I hope you can see that the battery is set to 13.1 to, uh, volts to restart okay so this is very helpful make sure let me shut this off this is very helpful for some applications when the B BMS it's not exactly sufficient. BMS is like really cutting right on the edge. I just wish this one had the high voltage cutoff too. Not only low voltage, but high voltage. Then it would be just better than BMS. Just because you can set it yourself. Okay? And this little baby works exactly the same. And the, uh, the middle boy, the 100 amp, works exactly the same. Uh, same app. I don't know what else, what else to tell you about this. Well, <clears throat> okay, it's only good for the load. It does not work both ways. Okay, the power goes only from this point to that point, from this point to that point. So you cannot put it in between the solar and the battery and then take the power of the battery back through this to the, to the, to the inverter. It will work, but I tried on, the, on this one. It will work, but it gets really hot. And I believe it will probably burn out if I if I let it for longer. It will probably burn out because this was getting extremely hot, extremely hot. Okay. It was maybe about two three minutes, about maybe uh, about probably twenty amp load. And it didn't like it. The power does not like to go this way. So it's only one way power. Um, I don't know what else to tell you about this, uh, except this will turn back on when it, if the battery reaches uh, 13 volts. But uh, that's it. It's just a little, you know, just a little introduction to this uh, to this Victron Energy battery protect uh, boys. All right. Cheers, guys.